Welcome to Open Mic Night. Give it up for your host and MC, Michael Blank. Boom, guys. We on the way to Murph's Open Mic. I did not want to go to this today because I woke up violently hungover. But yeah, my mom let me borrow her van, so that's pretty chill. It's going to be about an hour drive until we get there. But yeah, anyways, I haven't written the jokes yet because it was, it was, I didn't, it was tough. I, I ran out of time, but we're getting there hella early anyways. The mic doesn't start till 10 o'clock and I'm just going to write the jokes when we get there. So we good. My brain is not working. I'm just way too fucking, I feel so dumb, but all right, we're going to fucking go. Here we go. Yo, we at the motherfucking gas station, dog. Let's go. We at Quick Trip, number one gas station in the world. Shout out. I think we got about 40 minutes left on the drive. Not too bad. I've been feeling pretty uninspired today, so hopefully that'll change when I get there and I'll be able to write some good jokes, but I don't know, you know? Some days you're just not feeling inspired, but sometimes that's when you come up with your best stuff. All right, enough of this motivational hour bullshit. It's cold out here. I'm getting back in the car. I fucking hate myself so much, dude. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <coughs> Boom. It's 740. We just made it to Murph's Pub. I'm hoping I got here early enough to get a good spot. Usually I sign up. I like show up at 6 o'clock, but I realized that was unnecessarily early. So hopefully 740 is the right time. It's the moment of truth. What's up? Hello. Damn, bro. They're all filled up all the way up to number... 12. Yep, there it is. Right after Ash Miner, whoever the fuck that is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guys, it's Ash Miner. Sorry. Damn, dude, I'm pissed I got the number 12 spot. But whatever, we're gonna write the jokes now. The good thing about number 12 is the crowd will probably be warmed up by then. Hopefully they're not tired out by then. Fuck. All right, well, I guess I'll call upon the muse. Dear muse, please give me some fire ass jokes. Please give me some inspiration. I need that shit. I'm struggling for that shit right now. Give me it. All right, sweet, we prayed to the muse. Now I'm gonna write the fucking jokes. Let's do this shit. I didn't bring the candle because I'm in a fucking bar, but we're gonna write anyway. Here we go. Guys, good news. My friend Ani, I guess she felt bad for me, so she switched with me from number four to number 12. So now I'm going number four. That was really nice of her. Let's fucking go. Shout out Ani. Now I'm actually gonna write the jokes, okay? Okay guys, I wrote the jokes, you ready? Number one, it's cold out there. It's weird when it's cold outside. It's like cocaine, it gives you energy. Like, oh, it's fucking cold out here, shit. Hurry up and get in the fucking car. It gives you nosebleeds. It's also weird when it's hot outside. That's more like marijuana. It relaxes you. Like, oh, let's just lay out in the sun. That's why they call weed getting baked and they call cocaine snow. All right, number two. It sucks that cars cause global warming. Why couldn't it be something I hate, like vegetables? Oh, vegetables cause global warming. No more vegetables, only hamburgers for the, for the environment. Oh, these Brussels sprouts put a hole in the ozone. No more Brussels sprouts. Oh, broccoli is killing the sea turtles. We're switching to french fries. Books are killing the polar bears. No more reading, only TV. Okay, number three. A lot of people think the NFL is scripted. If it is scripted, that would be disappointing because I could write a much better script. The quarterback drops back for the pass and he gets shot in the head, assassinated by a fan in the upper levels. What are the Giants gonna do now? What's this? A small African child is climbing out of the stands? He's not even wearing shoes, but he's gonna play quarterback and he throws a touchdown. Somebody get this kid a contract. That would be a good that would be a good script. I'd watch that. All right, number 4. My sister is a feminist. She says the vagina is the strongest organ in the body. It kind of makes me wish that the twin towers were made out of vagina. Jet fuel can't melt steel vaginas. The planes would have been shot down by birth control. All right, number 5. You guys ever get asked how big your dick is? That's a hard question. Because my first instinct is to control the expectations. 
Like, yeah, it's not, it's all right, nothing special. But that's not hot. Girls don't want to hear that. I also don't want to say I have a huge dick and have them be disappointed. So I usually deflect the question. I say, how much do you weigh? Since size matters so much. No, I don't say that. That would be rude. I say my dick is, I say my dick, fuck. I say my dick is like the sisterhood of the traveling pants. It magically shapes to any vagina. It, yeah. All right. Well, those are my fucking jokes, dude. And uh, it's 8.25 right now. The mic starts in an hour and a half. So I'm just going to chill here. Kill time. Yo, we out here chilling. We got 30 minutes left until the mic starts. Picked up a Gatorade from Walgreens. Got to stay hydrated out here. Joe Hansen with the thumbs up, dude. We got it. It's pretty dead right now. KU lost a basketball game to a really shitty team today, though, so... Nobody's here. I think the crowd's gonna be really sad. Uh, that's what I'm guessing. Oh, everybody's—it's like a sad drunk night. Yeah. Drink your sorrows away. It'll make you laugh. Yeah, it's so sad. Like, there's probably gonna be multiple suicides tonight. It's like a sad <laughs> night. We got the host of Murphs walking in. Shout out, Brett. Fuck all. It's cold. Guys, Max got a giant beer. Look at that thing, dude. I'm gonna drive home. Yeah, he's pre-gaming the drive home. We're watching San Francisco versus the Packers in the playoffs. The open mic started and nobody is here, so. Really, is it like, is it actually started? There's literally nobody in there. And it hasn't started because there's nobody there. But it is 10 o'clock, so it should be started. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna buy a gun. You're gonna kill yourself? Nah. <laughs> Maybe. I said there was gonna be a few suicides tonight. But yeah, I'm glad we drove an hour for this. Me too. Bro, look at Josh. Huge Packers fan. He's freaking out right now. Also, he's up first at the open mic, so. Yeah, we're starting the open mic after the game. It's like really intense. There's a minute left. Green Bay homer. Max doesn't care about football at all. Yo, guys, the game just ended, and some people went into the room, so we have an audience now. So it should be a pretty good mic. Uh, all right, guys, put your hands together for your next comment on the stage. Here we go, here we go. Michael Blake, Michael Blake. Yes, guys, we did it. And the set actually went over well. It fucking went well, dude. Let's go. Feels really good. I'm glad I came tonight because I thought I was, I, I almost didn't want to come. But I told you guys I would be here, so I'm here. All right, so let's see. The cold weather, warm weather one, I mean, they were, they kind of laughed at it, but I already knew that one wasn't really that good. I said it was cold outside, and some lady started laughing. I was like, that's not even the joke yet. Let's see, oh yeah, it's fucking cold outside. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, that wasn't even the joke yet. But, but yeah, it's cold, dude. I like, I like it when it's cold. It's like cocaine almost. It gives you energy. You're like, what the, it's fucking cold out here. Get in the fucking car, you know? It's nice. It's like the opposite when it's warm, like when it's hot outside. That's like marijuana, you know? You're like, oh, I just want to lay out in the sun. That's why it's called getting baked. <laughs> cocaine. Cocaine is called snow. I don't know what that was. That was a haiku. I don't know. <laughs> I like to start off with a bad joke so the rest seem better. <laughs> they're, they're polite. And then I talked about global warming. That one probably did the worst. Yeah, I wish global warming, it sucks that it's caused by cars. I wish it was caused by something I hate, like uh, fucking like vegetables or something. <laughs> like, hey, that, those Brussels sprouts put a hole in the ozone. We gotta get rid of them. The broccoli's killing the sea turtles. Gotta switch to hamburgers. But we got through it and we finished strong because the next joke was the NFL script. And people did think that was funny. People laughed at that shit. Uh, the NFL, some people say it's scripted. I, I hope it's not. That would be disappointing because what a shitty script, dude. <laughs> I could write a much better one. It'd be like, oh, the quarterback drops back for a pass. He gets shot in the head. <laughs> Assassinated by a fan in the third level. Oh, what is this? A small African child is crawling onto the field? He doesn't even have shoes, but he throws a touchdown. <laughs> Someone get this kid a contract. Akunta Quinte. 
And then the one after that was the, oh, Twin Towers made out of vagina. And people laughed at that shit as well. My sister is a feminist. <laughs> she told me, she told me that the vagina is the strongest organ in the body. Kind of makes me wish that the Twin Towers were made out of vagina, <laughs> right? Then maybe they would have survived those plane crashes. Jet fuel can't melt steel pussy. <laughs> the birth control would have shot down the planes. They thought, I think, you, jet fuel can't melt steel pussy. I think they thought that part was funny. And then the how big is your dick question, it was all right. I probably could uh, they enjoyed it a little bit. Dude, has anyone ever been asked, how big is your dick? That's a tough question to field. You know, because you, you want to, my first instinct is to control the expectations. I'm like, oh, it's nothing special. It's all right. But that's not hot. The girls don't want to hear that. But I don't want to be like, it's huge either, because then you're just setting them up for disappointment. So I usually just deflect the question. I'm like, how much do you weigh? <laughs> if size matters so much. No, I, would, I don't say that. That would be rude. I tell them it's like, uh, it fits to any vagina. It's like the sisterhood of the traveling pants. That's what my penis is like, yeah. Probably could have been more precise with my wording. I don't know. And then I told a couple of jokes that I've, I had more time to do. So then I told a couple of jokes that I've already told before. I told the joke about fucking my grandma. They thought that was kind of funny. And then I told the joke about drowning in pussy. And that one did really well too. And so I got off the stage with some good laughs. And it was fucking great, dude. My ex-girlfriend broke up with me recently. I thought when she broke up with me that I was going to be drowning in pussy. Turns out I'm pretty buoyant. Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of drowning going on. Not even really swimming in pussy. Just it's like I have a pussy life jacket on or something. I don't know. You guys have been a great crowd. Thank you. The host of the open mic, Brett, he was like, good set, dude, good set. Like, he told me that, like, twice. And he would know. He watches everybody. So that it was good, dude. Fucking feels good, bro. Like, thank God, man. <laughs> I feel fucking great now. Pretty good Saturday night. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Let's go. Anyways, tomorrow night... We're going to go to Fuego Open Mic in the West Bottoms. I hope it goes better than it was last time. Yeah. We're probably going to Fuego. If there's another open mic going on, I might check it out because I did not have a great experience last time at Fuego. But either way, we're going to an open mic tomorrow. It's going to be great. We're going to write some jokes. I look forward to it. And I'll see you motherfuckers there. Peace.